Hi, I'm James Wilkinson. I've been a travel editor for the past 20 years. On this show, we're going to take you to some of the world's most amazing places. We're going to show you some great hotels, bars, restaurants, and much more. Right now, we're in New York, and I'm Top of the Rock. is full of hundreds of beautiful little boutique hotels all throughout the city and we're in one of the real hidden gems here uh, which is the, the Walker Hotel in Greenwich Village. I'm here with the owner Atit and mate um, we were just having a, a bit of a chat mate there's some beautiful hotels coming to this part of New York but mate this is this is your baby. This this is a beautiful hotel it's it's meant to evoke a, a historical Greenwich Village and the details are you know from the ceilings the flooring to the tables I mean we're we're all very carefully thought through so that it gets that sense of, hey, you, you, you could have been here 100 years ago. Now, you've created a new collection called the Walker Collection. Uh, you've obviously got another hotel being developed currently uh, a few blocks down in, in Manhattan as well. Tell us a bit about the, the collection. Yeah, the collection is a neighborhood collection. Every experience is a little bit different, but it's, it's supposed to be local. So everything we get is local. The food that comes from here is at Union Square Market. Chef goes four days a week to go and collect the food. Uh, the soap we have is a soap that's been used in Greenwich Village forever here. Now you cross between two markets very well, business travel market, leisure market, and you obviously cater to both really well with, with your styles of properties. Is that a challenge for you to, to make sure that you are sort of in the middle of those two markets? I, no, I, we, don't, we haven't had a challenge with that. Because I, you know what, I think with the new guest experience today is that both business and leisure kind of expect the same thing. People want, you know, a great bed, great water pressure, great breakfast, great dinner, and great cocktails. And, and I, it, even if it, you're on business, you want all that stuff too. Yeah, now we're in the, the Society Cafe, which you've, you've just done a great renovation on. What's the kind of concept you're doing here and, and what can we expect at the new hotel? Yeah, so the one here is an elevated, call it farm to table, elevated American experience. Our chef, Chris Zabita, is an incredible chef, a Michelin trained chef that just has incredible experience and the food is delicious. And he's the one who goes personally to the market to collect the food. Our services, you know, our loyalty program isn't points based, it's, it's just it's service based and it's experience based. I mean, really, the folks that stay at this hotel are pretty incredible folks, generally. And they really, what the reason they come back is that we remember your name, we remember what you like, we remember what you order at the restaurant. It's a personalized experience, it's your hotel. And that's really what we're getting. We're not a franchise. We don't want to open up a hundred of these. It's a really dedicated service to the neighborhood and to the guest. And, and really, that's what our focus is going to be. I think when you're coming here, you, you want that kind of special experience. You want to be treated well. You want to have a New York experience. And so we are a neighborhood hotel brand. And that's kind of what we've been focused on. Well, mate, thank you so much for your time today. And uh, great to see you again. You're putting so much passion into this hotel. Thank you. Great to see you too. One of the great things to do in New York is a, a helicopter ride over Manhattan and we're going to take a journey now with the team from Heli NY. But if you want to view Manhattan while keeping your feet firmly on the ground, there's another option and it's 70 floors high. One of the greatest landmarks in New York City is Rockefeller Center, and we're joined at the very top of the rock on the observation deck with Chris Haywood from NYC and Company. And Chris, one of the greatest attractions in New York, isn't it? It really is quite spectacular. Atop the top of the rock observation deck at Rockefeller Center, it's a must-see attraction in New York, offering spectacular views of both Central Park and the Empire State Building and the city beyond. It's really incredible. 
Are you quite excited with all the new product that's coming on at the moment in terms of attractions, hotels, bars, restaurants, galleries? Absolutely. It's incredible what's going on throughout all five boroughs of New York City. And there's been so many new developments and new openings that we've been calling this the new New York. And if you haven't been here in the last year or so, you're really missing out. There's been so many new developments and opportunities for people that are either first-time visitors or repeat travelers. And what are some of the exciting things going on, Chris? What are some of the, the must-dos in New York right now? Well, aside from being here at Top of the Rock, I would definitely recommend that you check out all of the areas here in the Midtown Manhattan area, but go beyond. Look at other neighborhoods like Harlem in Northern Manhattan. Go to Lower Manhattan and experience the revitalized Lower Manhattan 15 years after September 11th. And then if you go beyond that, there's some new developments taking place over in Staten Island, the new Destination St. George project, which will have the tallest observation wheel in the world, the New York wheel, as well as an Empire Outlets shopping destination. And then farther west uh, from here, will be the new Hudson Yards project, which is the largest private real estate development in the history of the United States. So, so many more reasons for people to continue to come to New York City. It's all about the culture, the vibrancy, the diversity, and the excitement. We're here at the Quinn Hotel, a luxury hotel up on 57th Street and 6th Avenue in the heart of Midtown, New York. Now, this is the hotel's penthouse. Goes for a cool 15 grand a night. Let's go and have a look inside. We're sitting up here in the uh, presidential suite here with the general manager, Vincent. And uh, Vincent, what a, what a beautiful property you have. Um, I've walked past here a bunch of times and uh, finally glad to be staying here. Yeah, thank you, welcome, first of all, um, to our penthouse. So um, the Quinn uh, now going into its third year of operation um, in a historical building. And so when you walk past, it probably was still the Buckingham at the time, which really was the building that it originally was built for uh, in the early 20s and past century. We're here in what was the uh, the owner's apartment. Right. Hotels that have spaces like this tend to be bars or other areas, like event areas, but you've done the complete opposite and gone and said, no, let's keep it special. Let's have this for guests that really want to have a home away from home experience. So the Quinn is all about one of a kind, quintessential experiences. And so we thought about um, creating this space, which is a three level penthouse with three bedrooms, a thousand square foot of outdoor space overlooking Central Park. Really great location from both a business and leisure perspective, isn't it? Absolutely. So the park, of course, is the major attraction that we are just south of. Um, but 57th Street is also known for its shopping. You have some of the most beautiful boutiques and, and department stores. And then, of course, we also celebrate the history of the hotel um, with all of the artists that used to live here, such as Georgia O'Keeffe, Fedorovsky, uh, just to name a few, to create a very modern and interesting Quinn Arts program um, in which we have a certain amount of artists that stay in residence in the hotel, make art um, here, interact with our guests. But above that is really about the service offerings that we provide for our guests. Um, the very individualized amenities from the Nespresso maker uh, in every guest room to um, you know, the, the Tiffany's partnership or the Bird of Goodman partnership that we have to offer our guests, um, which is very special. And, we have a dedicated team of concierges, which is becoming more and more rare in hotels. So it's really finding out what the guest is looking for from their experience in New York and then really tailoring an experience for them. If you look at, sort of at this room, I mean, it, it, it is hard, I guess, to stay in a hotel in New York and have a real home away from home experience. I mean, you've got a, you've got a kitchenette in here as well, dishwashers, and it really is like it's someone's apartment. And, and that's kind of what we strive for to create this for our guests uh, rather than a cookie cutter. Uh, experiences. If you were to be a New Yorker and you were to live in, in a beautiful apartment, this is what it would look like. And this is what your experience would look like. And so that is really what we're looking to create for our guests. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having us today and, uh, and obviously having us in such a beautiful room as well. It, it, it is, it's good to feel like a New Yorker for a few days. I'm glad you were able to do that.
that's it from us in New York. We hope you enjoyed our insider guide to one of the world's greatest cities. We'll see you next time. Coming up on the next episode, we hit the beach and give you the ultimate guide to Los Angeles. A lot of the action happens here on Sunset Strip and today we're going to catch up with a mate of mine, Toby Rand. So now this is the Rock and Roll is, this is a great pub, they still do the rock and roll theme. I think this strip is always going to be rock and roll orientated. After the break we're going to take you inside the Beverly Hilton, the home of the Golden Globes. Well, the Golden Globes obviously are a pinnacle event for us.